So welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to replace your accessory fuse on your BMW. So first thing you want to do is um, just put in the key. Um, don't start the car. Just put it in accessory mode. As you can see there, your radio may turn on. And uh, just plug in an accessory to see if it's working. As you can see, I got a Bluetooth module, but I also have my cell phone here. And as you notice here, it's not charging at all. So um, that means that your accessory plug fuse is probably blown. So let's take a look at that now. So your accessory fuse for your uh, BMW is located in the glove compartment. Um, what you wanna do is, of course, open the glove compartment, remove all the stuff. There are two little tabs here that you need to turn, and then this panel will come down. We're gonna need this piece of paper in a second. Every car will be different. And we're gonna look for the correct fuse for our accessories. So, on this piece of paper here, if you open it up, it's gonna look like this. So don't worry about everything on here. What we wanna focus on is this icon right here, at the bottom right. It has a negative and a positive, and it says 30. 30 is the number for the fuse location. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna look on this part for number 30. And as you can see, number 30 is right here in the top right hand corner, second row from the bottom. Now, you wanna check this and make sure you find the right fuse for your car. Every BMW will be different on my car, it's right there. And if we look on this part and look for fuse number 30, which is right here, we can see that it's a 20 amp fuse. So. That's important, don't lose this piece of paper. Just put it back. And I have a little 20 amp fuse here and we're gonna put it in. So in all uh, BMW uh, fuse boxes, you can get there, I'm missing mine. It used to go right there, but there's a little like fuse um, holder. Should be right there, it's not there anymore. And there's one also right there, the little orange thing. now. Grabbing these, so my fuse that I need to replace is all the way over there. And as you can see, I've already taken it out. Yeah, I've taken mine out. Now you may want to use some uh, needle nose pliers. I'll just grab some. You may want to use some needle nose pliers like this. I already took mine out. It is a little challenging. I don't know if I can demonstrate it for you here. Let me just grab onto another fuse. I'm just gonna reach in. Yeah, I would recommend needing those pliers. Reach in, grab the fuse like that. Of course, this is a different fuse. And then I recommend you putting it back in by hand. I'm just gonna put that one back. Don't know what that one was for. But again, ours. Ours is gonna go right second row on the bottom next to that five fuse, uh, five amp fuse. That's where the accessory is on ours, so. I'm just gonna reach in there. And voila, we have our fuse installed. Right there. I probably should have turned off the car first, but that's okay. Because right now, as you can see, with the ignition still on, yeah guys, I'd recommend not doing that with the ignition on. With the ignition on, my Bluetooth module came on. And let's see if our cell phone is charging. and our cell phone is charging. So, um, if this was helpful for you, so guys, if this was helpful for you, just drop a like. Um, it helps other people see the video, the YouTube algorithm, and if you're interested in my uh, N52 engine rebuild project and other tips and tricks on an E90, just hit the subscribe button. Um, follow us on Instagram for uh, the progress and some behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you to get your accessories back going in. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in another video.